eight eleven says the seed is the word of God. In Mark 4, 14, it says a sower sows the word. So they're being a lot more obvious. Again, we turn to Mark and Luke for a complete picture. In Mark 4, 15, these are the ones who are beside the road where the word is sown. And when they hear, immediately Satan comes and takes away the word which has been sown in them. In Luke 8, 12, it says, those beside the road are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their heart. Wow. Luke is elaborating, takes it away from their heart so that they will not believe and be saved. See, there are people to whom we preach the word that don't understand it. It's like sharing your life with a wall, right? Bounces back. It's not that they can't believe it. They choose not to believe it. And therefore, they won't be saved by it. Their hearts are like the side of the road. No matter how many seeds you plant, nothing can grow. Yeah, these are the people that I know of that go to a church and say, Oh, I go because I like the music. I go because my friends are going. You can go to a boys and girls club. You can go to a Rotary club. You can go to Knights of Columbus and do that. As was mentioned yesterday for those of us who attended, there's truly a difference in a kingdom gathering. We want to grow. We want our seed to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. Amen. We want our status to be right here. The status of, I am a kingdom child, and if you want to persecute me, I'm not looking for trouble, but I know where I stand. Mm 